Hey friends, um, long time no see. I just wanted to come to you today and share an update with you as to what's been going on with me since I've um, recently finished my chemo. Um, well, congratulations, right? I, I got through it. Um, February 16th was my last chemo day. Since then, I've been going on testings for my heart, lungs, and um, PET scans, which are something that you pretty much have to get done periodically because um, chemo does, you know, break down the body and um, organs as well over time. So my doctor basically would like for me to go on those testings to make sure everything is still on up and up and working in working the way it's supposed to so since then it's been officially what two and a half months it'll be three months on may 16th since i finished chemo um there's pros and cons of getting off chemo um as you can see one is my hair you know my hair is starting to grow back thank god um and my curls is getting long enough eventually once this top part starts to grow in i'm sure more curls will come but as you can see, it has a mind of its own, just does whatever. This is after I got out the shower today, so I just kind of put a little moisturizer on it and go about my day. So, um, but um, the pros also is that um, I'm, I don't feel sluggish and weak all the time. I do have a lot more energy. Um, my hands, as you can see, look at that, they're clear no black marks my nails you can see right there no can you see that my nail is that's my long that's my nail and just the tip of it at the very top is not but as you can see my nails have grown they're not black they're actually cleared up thank god um, um that's a pro what else um well my port it as you guys know has always sat on my um on a nerve so that has not been the greatest for me at all which really sucks i really want to get it out as soon as possible but since i noticed since i've been working out every day um i noticed that you know i'm slimming down in my chest my chest has reduced you know a couple of inches and things like that and since then the tissue that's there by my port has went down as well because you know as you, when you start to lose weight you start to lose it it goes down this way it's like your face starts to slim down your neck and then all the extra fat kind of just starts to slim down as well um i have gone down in bra sizes but i'm not trying to buy any bras as of yet but um we'll have to do that shortly um but since that tissue is like it's not as much fat tissue right there it has gotten a lot more comfortable and I can actually sleep on the other side. I was like, whoa, what's happening here? You know, it, I almost had the port for going on a year now and it'll be a year um, in July. So this approaching very soon, but it has not been easy with that port. But, you know, it is what it is. This is something that you have to you deal with when you're, you know, uh, cancer survivor or fighter for that matter that's how they administer the um, chemo to you so that's the only way that you would get it done or they would go through your veins and eventually with chemo your veins are not gonna be as easily accessible like um, the port is so that's why they have you get the surgery to get that done but since I've been losing weight it's helped uh, it has been more dealable like you know I can actually deal with it so that is a, a pro um, the con is unfortunately I have been experiencing some issues with neuropathy, um, neuropathy. Um, it literally, it'll be times I could just be sitting there watching TV and my hands just start to do this tingling sensation and it just feels like I can't, there's no blood circulating to the, the balls of my fingers, which are, it, it could be dangerous, especially if I decide to cook or anything like that, because um, no one want, you don't want to get in a situation where you end up cutting yourself by accident because you can't feel, you know, the sensation if there's blood flow to your hands. So I just kind of been using exercises as far as, you know, like hand squeezing and things like that. But um, yeah, so that hasn't been like the best thing for me I'm not excited about that and another thing I'm not excited about which is a con is the um, chemo brain 
I know you've probably heard that before in the past from other people who's gone through um, fighting cancer and things of that nature. But when I tell you chemo brain is real, that's legit real, for real. Like I, I pride myself on being someone who is good on remembering things. I mean, that's like my go-to thing when I'm like debating with my husband. I'm like, listen, I, I remember everything. I remember down to the T, down to what you're wearing, everything. So for me to have for me to have um sorry i heard ruckus in the background for me to have um you know not be able to remember certain things i'm like what is going on this is no joke this is not good i mean i literally would go to the kitchen and be like i'm coming down here to get something i already have it in my head i know i'm getting it then get in the kitchen completely forget what the heck that i was in the kitchen for and i'm like oh okay whatever and then i'll go back upstairs and then when I get upstairs, I'm, I'm like annoyed because I literally went down there for either a cup or whatever and I can't, and it's just like little stuff that's just irking the heck out of me. And just like appointments and stuff, I'm like, it's like I'm relying more on my phone now more than ever because I, I just don't want to forget something that's important. And if I've forgotten somebody's birthday, please I do apologize because it's not my intention by no means. I love you guys, but... I don't know what it is. It's like I am not remembering something that I always would remember. So I do apologize in advance. Uh, I'm I'm working on it. I'm writing things down more, and I'm like I said, I'm relying on my phone more than I usually would. So um, bear with me. I'm praying that this goes away, and I'm speaking good memory in the name of Jesus because this doesn't make any sense. But I would say that that's the biggest thing that I'm really been dealing with as of right now. Um, one thing I know that has been helping me through is, um, my oils and, um, my juicing and working out. Um, when I say my oils, there's something that I use on a day to day, every single day. Like I've used it religiously is doTERRA oils. They have been great for me. Lavender. I need more of this. Lavender is like everything for me. I love this so much. Um, also, another one that I've been using like religiously is the Melaleuca tea tree oil. Uh, amazing. Amazing. I'm actually um, just about out of my frankincense oil. Um, I use it all the time. I rub it on the bottom of my feet. I rub it on my lymph nodes. Um, I religiously use it every single day. And when I say it's amazing, it's amazing. It helps with the lymphatic system. Um, the list goes on and on of all the great benefits that they have but it's like usually around this time of the year when it's like pollen season my eyes are really puffy like swollen i can't wear contacts i'm like glasses all day but since i've been using my vapor um and putting my oils in and just putting it on topically onto my skin and on my areas of um my area points um I promise you that I have literally been good and you would think that I would have more issues being that I was just dealing with fighting cancer but my immune system has been stronger than it than it's ever been I feel like, like I literally I always use my oils and then I use I my husband sometimes he doesn't care for certain smells but I know when to you know put it on because I don't want to bother him with it but ultimately like the peppermint is one of my favorites that I use um, breathe is another one that's my favorite that I use that I vaporize because breathe is the one that actually helps you with, um, the seasonal, um, allergies and stuff like that in the air. So I'm basically purifying the air and cleansing it of any of those, uh, any of allergies and stuff like that. So that's actually the reason why I haven't had any issues when it comes to, uh, my nose and my eyes and things like the, you know, the everyday allergies. So that's something that has been like my go-to um let me just show you this real quick um there's a book that i've been um using that helps me to help with my um my oils uh, it's this book here it's called modern essentials it's basically a guide 
a book that is like breaks down everything and it tells you all the benefits of what certain oils can do for you that you know without you having to take medications and things like that I am all about doing everything I can to make sure that while I got out of uh, being you know cancer having cancer in my body I don't want it to return and that's one thing as a cancer fighter and survivor you it's critical your the next five years you don't want this to come back so i don't want to have to go on chemotherapy again i do not want to deal with radiation these are things that i don't want to do and if i just do the necessary steps to help myself along and educate myself that's what I'm gonna do. So I've been educating myself with this. This is my book. Like if I feel anything itch in my throat, I look at this, I put my oils to work and hey, I'm standing here strong because I've literally religiously used this stuff. The du doTERRA oils is like amazing. They I use the doTERRA fruits and greens, which actually get me through um, when I run out of my batch of smoothie uh, mix that I use. Um, but it's great because it's like my emergency uh, go-to shake that I could just pour in my um, bottle blender and shake it up, put my water in it. I usually use water and it's the my alkaline water that I use, but you can use it with almond milk, you can use your favorite juice, but I recommend if you're gonna use juice, it be something organic, not something that's sugary and sweet and full of uh, ingredients that's not going to be beneficial because it basically defeats the purpose of even having the darn um doTERRA greens but um for those of you who are not familiar with doTERRA um i'll have it up here but sorry for all the movement i don't have my selfie stick so this is my doTERRA kit that i use it has different stuff in it but um, I'm actually going to be reing up on um, my stuff because I am running low on some things, but for the most part, I do. I just love it. It is my guide to health and strength and all that good stuff. And as you can see, look at this. I have. I don't have makeup on. You can see my freckles, which are annoying, but and my little beauty mark here. But my skin has cleared up tremendously. It's not as black. Before when I was um, on chemo, this was really black. So I use a vino on my face, but you got my freckles here. Whatever, my eyebrows are starting to grow back, which, you know, when you go through chemotherapy, you look crazy because you don't really have any eyebrows. And look at this, my eyelashes. I got eyelashes again. Can you believe that? Glad to say I ha I'd have that because I really didn't have any. It's still kind of faint. I did. I don't really have much on the bottom, but on the top you can see that I have my eyelashes are are there. So, I mean the hair, everything is is coming along. It's a work in progress. I mean look at my um, the scar is still there, but um, I've been putting the Melaleuca oil and lavender on the scar. It has gotten better tremendous tremendously, like. It used to have like a bump here where it almost was like it was almost keloiding so it actually um, it's looking a lot better but um, um, you know I, 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 I'm definitely just excited about the progress that I've been going through with um, my oils and everything like that so i wanted to share it with you guys so you could see what i've been doing and how I, how things how life has been for me and this journey uh jesse's journey through cancer i mean you know it's still a journey i'm still doing my thing but god is good and i'm gonna let you guys know of all the great things that i've uh been um you know encountering um another thing i wanted to share with you guys you know why i haven't had a lot of time i've just been trying to enjoy life you know it's been a long year when i say a long year it's been a long year and fighting cancer is no joke so i'm just now getting in the hustle and bustle of just having that time to enjoy my friends and family and go out and my husband oh man we just celebrated our five-year anniversary so it's like God is good. I just am so blessed to feel like I'm alive to see this. I just celebrated my 33rd birthday. I'm 33. Yeah, 33. Oh my God. I had to think about that. Mm. Chemo brain or something. But 
yeah, I, I'm 33 and fabulous. So I'm um, and alive and healthy. So I've been celebrating a lot uh, these past two months of not being on chemo. So it's like a celebration after celebration. And I have another celebration that's coming up. Um, I've been uh, nominated for the Phoenix Award at uh, the Legends Ball with the Solid Rock, Solid Rock Church of God, um, the Solid um, Rock Women's Ministry. They nominated me for the Phoenix Award for basically sharing my story and bravery um, while fighting cancer. Um, and I just want to send a, a shout out to them and say thank you so much for your continued, your continued prayers and, um, just being supporting to me throughout this time because I really appreciate it. And I love you guys dearly. You have no idea. Um, like when you're going through this, you feel like you're alone, but when you have people praying for you, your prayer warriors in the back, praying for you keeping you uplifted it just makes you feel so great and i just i'm so grateful for you guys for continually to make me feel good and um also i wanted to you know just you know say how thankful i am and i can't wait to celebrate this ball it's like a is a ball where you wear a tuxedo and a gown and i'm super excited to wear my gown and get my makeup done and look fabulous you know, it's just a blessing and, and that's going to be this sat um, the Saturday. So the legends ball and I have my family and friends coming through. So if you haven't gotten your tickets, I don't know if you can, I think they're sold out, but that's what I'll be this Saturday. So, um, I, you will get some pictures and hopefully I can, um, post, uh, some, some pictures and video audio, whatever. So you can see, um what's going on and hopefully I, hopefully i could get somebody to tape my speech um so but i'm very grateful for what has been god has been doing in my life and i'm going to continue to praise him because i know without him i wouldn't be here but i'm just grateful to be able to share what i've been going through and hopefully i can inspire others who are going through their journey to continue to share their journey because this is not easy you know it's not about followers and getting a whole it's not about that for me for me it was about i didn't know what to do. And I know that God was leading me to share my story. And if I don't share my, st my story, I wouldn't have been able to make it because I used a lot of those videos when I was down. I would look back and be like, dang, you are really inspirational, girl. Like you got me through that day when I'm sitting there on the floor crying in pain, don't know how I'm going to make it. And then I look at my video and go back. I'm like, man, this is uplifting me, which I didn't think that it would do that. But, you know, just sharing and documenting these things for you, it's important. So I just wanted you guys to get an update and see what I've been doing and how things have been going. And I will keep you informed. Um, yeah, and um, I think I'm going to have to put my link down there so you can see and find out about doTERRA because honestly, it's amazing. I'm a wellness ad advocate for them. So, you know, right now I'm just getting my feet in the door. But as far as I'm concerned, I, I use it every day. And it's my it's my everything. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. It's actually, I even use some of them as like perfume. Like this, the one that I like, I mix uh, lavender. Oh my God, it's so amazing. But everything's pure. So when you're going through this journey you're mindful of what chemicals and things like you put on your body because you don't want to you don't want a reoccurrence so anywho um i've talked to you guys ear off enough as it is i just wanted to say thank you for continuing to keep me lifted in prayer oh my god the best is yet to come so just keep looking out for me i'm going to continue to share my story and praise his name and let you know what's been going on with me my next um pet scan is on july 11th i believe so i'm going to be keeping you guys posted as to what's going on with that um i'm gonna kind of give you a little i'm gonna come up with some more videos because i want you guys to see what i do with my hair you know, I don't have much of it right now, but I want you to see what the process is. It's super, super easy. And I'm, you know, I still got to make sure I maintain it because even though it's not long, I still want it to grow and things like that and what vitamins I'm using. Oh, another thing before I go, I wanted to sh let you guys know what I've been using for the neuropathy, um, is B6. 
um, I, I started taking that again because um, I was taking it when I was on chemo and it was supposed to help for, with the, the Nupergen shots and stuff like that and the Claritin, but I, I started taking that back again because I'm like, uh, I can't deal with this tingling sensation and numbness. It's no joke. But anywho, um, love you guys and I will talk to you soon rather than later. Definitely uh, more than likely um, over the weekend so you can see my gown. Yes, my gown. I love it. And um, my makeup. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a blessed day. Blessings and love. Bye.